Welcome. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, thank you for showing up to my webinar. Super excited to be here. Thank you, Richard, for the introduction. Thank you, Amon Gearbach, for hosting me. I've come with my hat today. Um, can't get them anymore. They're all out, unfortunately. Um, hey, so you know what's super exciting to me? I know that there's people watching this webinar that have seen this probably three or four times already. It's like, I don't know, people can't get enough of dental photography, which is super exciting to me. Um, you know, what's really exciting to me too is that during this whole pandemic, during all of the craziness, people are still showing up. People are getting up early, staying up late, whatever it is to come out and check out the information that's being put out there. So many companies are doing this for free. So many folks, a lot of my good friends are doing this at no charge for nothing, which gives me a lot of renewed faith in in the specialty and in this great profession of ours. Um, again, if you guys, if it's not obvious, if you haven't seen me lecture before, if you haven't seen this webinar before, um, you'll figure out by the by the time this is all said and done, I'm really, really psyched about this topic. I'm really psyched about dentistry. Please, please, please feel free to email me, get in touch with me, send me your questions, comments, like whatever. Next time you're gonna be in Maine so we can have a beer, whatever it is, connect with me. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see more of. Um, you know, just get in touch with me. Send me your photos. I'd love to, you know, see what you guys are up to, see what you guys are doing. Um, so many of you that know me, you know that I, I speak for Amon Gearbach. Um, I'm sort of uh, on the fence a little bit, though, because even though I'm a laboratory technician, I'm also a board-certified prosthodontist. And every time I lecture, you know, I talk about implants, I talk about tooth preparation, I talk about immediate dentures, I talk about a lot of stuff. You know what people always ask me though? They never ask me, hey, hey Miles, what implant system do you use? Or what, what burrs are you using? What acrylic did you use for that? The first thing they always ask is, hey man, how'd you get those photos? How do I take better photos? And if they're laboratory technicians, they say, hey man, if, if I wanted to get your business, Miles, what would I have to do to get you to become one of my clients? And if it's a prosthodontist like me, they say, Miles, how do I attract better patients? How do I get the general dentist to refer to me? And if it's like, you know, some of these comprehensive uh, dentists, you know, some of the general dentists are like, hey man, yeah, how do I get, how do I get better patients in? How do I do this? So this presentation is gonna show you guys simply that photography is really your, <laughs> it's your ticket to play, all right? And you need photography like you need to do endo or oral surgery or crown lengthening or, you know, veneer preps. It's just another tool. And a lot of people really neglect that fact. And I think the reason why is number one, we're not really taught photography in dental school. I learned it a little bit in residency, but we did photography because we had to. It wasn't something that really we enjoyed doing, right? It was like mounting our casts and things like that. It was just another task, right? What I soon figured out though, is that you can use photography to really brand yourself, right? And you can use this as a marketing strategy. 